guys, welcome to the second episode of the Travel Astrology Show with me, Alex. I hope you enjoyed last week's show and are ready to find out what star signs we will be talking about today. So just a quick reminder, if you missed last week's show, which I hope you didn't, um, here we will be talking about where you should be traveling to according to your star sign, specifically your sun sign. So go and check out when you were born to find out what sun sign you are. So yeah, we will be talking about places you should visit, places you should avoid, um, who to travel with, what style to travel in, etc. And how we will be dividing up the episodes is by elements. So last week it was the element of fire and today's episode um, element will be concentrating on the earth signs. So the earth signs are Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. So if you were born in, in this sun sign, this episode is for you. So let's have a look. So earth signs are known to be super grounded. They're 100% real and stable and they will keep it honest and real with you at all times. So they are at the same time still very chill. So they like their chill sort of holidays and um, are very interested in culture. So trips where you check out lots of museums or art galleries or yeah, talk about the art that you just saw over a good glass of wine. That is the sort of a place for the um, earth signs. They're not massive, huge partiers, so they wouldn't really choose the sort of destination that is full of uh, thousands of people just partying all day long um, and all night. They're more of the person, people that are, yeah, like nature, they really like to stay for example active in nature so yeah going hiking etc and they do love to travel but they really really focus on traveling sustainably so environment uh, the environment is something super important to them so they always uh, try and yeah travel sustainably as much as they can but they will also talk to you about that a lot because they are quite yeah they like to know it all, um, especially our Virgos. They are the teachers um, among the star signs. They really like to share their opinions. I can sometimes be a little bit judgy, but don't worry, I love that. Uh, every star sign and um, they really really like good wine and food and um, might be the ones that have a little fling on their holiday so sh we won't tell anyone but let's have a look at each specific star sign in a little bit more detail so yes Virgo they're very honest reliable tidy people but like I said on the other hand they can be a little bit um, yeah they like to be the teacher of the group. Um, so they will like to go on a culture trip and show you their favorite museum while also telling you all about it. Um, they like to stay a local because, like I said, they really, really focus on traveling sustainably because the environment and saving the environment is super important to them. So they would probably stay somewhere in Europe. And for example, if you are from Germany, I would recommend maybe the North Sea or maybe the Baltic Sea. Um, there's not too many people around. They don't like the hustle bustle with lots of thousands of people um, around them so it's quite quiet it's local and you can get there by train which is perfect for the Virgos next up is the Taurus so the Taurus is very faithful and reliable and um, on the other hand can also be a little bit stubborn and a little bit lazy Shh. I hope you won't take this too seriously but they can be they are the ones that would much prefer chilling rather than going um, on a every day on a uh, 10 mile hike and then on a party bender at night um, so perfect places for them are Spain Portugal places where they have the chance to chill at the beach in the day and then maybe go for a nice glass of red and enjoy the really lovely cuisine that you get there and just really enjoy life to the fullest with all their senses while also not spending too much money because they are careful with their money um, so yeah Portugal places like that it's perfect and last but not least we have the Capricorn 
So the Capricorn is very responsible and determined and also patient, but can also be a little bit pessimistic. Um, one place that I thought would be perfect for them is definitely Switzerland, but also any place that is sort of maybe in the mountains that they can go on nice hikes on. But most importantly, the Capricorn likes to travel somewhere, again, where there's not too many people. So somewhere where they can either maybe be on their own or with one other person so for example with their partner and um, so places where you can travel to as in a group of two or with your partner are perfect uh, for the Capricorn so yes as you can see earth sign very different to the fire signs um, much more grounded and chilled and a little bit more about the culture and food and um, long hikes outside with not too many people around compared to the social butterflies that are um, fire signs. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode about the earth signs and about where they should travel to. And again, I hope you will check out last week's episode if this wasn't the star signs or the sun signs that is interesting to you. And don't worry, of course, we will focus on the other signs as well. So water, don't worry, you are coming up. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed and subscribe, like if you do, and don't forget to check out joymetric.com if you are looking for um, traveling this summer or maybe this year as a Capricorn or Aries or any other person of course is welcome at any time. Thanks guys for listening and I'll see you next week. Bye!